Well, it was Friday evening, and uh, we made the run out to the end of the channel and back. Uh, we ran all the way out there at uh, 1750 RPM, and it never skipped to beat. When we tried to run it at full throttle, 1850, 1875. It crapped very quickly. Within a minute it stopped. And uh, we started it back up right away. Decided to open the uh, fuel filler cap um, because with that open there's no possibility of there being a vacuum in the tank. Ran it all the way back at 1750. Again, no problem. Just the same as going out, half hour out, half hour back. And uh, when we got to the dock and uh, put it in reverse and gunned it real hard, the damn thing died. And uh, did that a couple of times, and we gl glided into the uh, dock a little, a uh, little harder than we wanted to, and uh, with no control at all. But uh, didn't hurt anything, but uh, ignominious. So uh, the only thing. Both of the fuel filters that we removed uh, have been clean. I cut apart the expensive one that uh, is the primary fine fuel filter. The Volvo one that I took out a couple of days ago, I cut that apart. There is nothing in it. It was just like a new filter. And took out the primary fuel or the secondary fuel filter, water separated fuel filter today. Made a great big mess. Took hours to do. And that filter was fine too. So. Uh, put the vacuum gauge. I found the vent for the fuel tank. It's way up high in the combing by a winch. And I put the vacuum gauge on it. It seemed like for a minute it was blocked. And then it was unblocked. And. I blew through it and all that crap, and uh, it's it was free. And uh, uh, when I left it, so the one thing that we haven't done is removed the is measured the fuel pill pressure from the lift pump, and. Uh, Excuse me, I'm tired. I haven't measured the pressure from the lift pump. We haven't taken the cap off of the lift pump and seen if there's any crud in the screen there. That's something that might get overlooked even though people change all the filters. They might not even know there is a screen in that pump. But uh, again, just as with a, a clogged filter, if that if that was the problem, then it wouldn't start right up. It wouldn't run right. Da -da 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 -da. So this is just a problem that I cannot um, explain. It may be that the weak the lift pump is weak. And uh, there's a couple of little flap valves in the in the lift pump, and I guess um, if they get crud in them, or the springs get weak, or the the valves just wear out, then maybe the pump is working, but not working 100%. And I guess if we can get the gauge uh, coupled up to that one of those bleed screws, uh, we can measure it and see. And then I guess uh, uh, try to get to 
one of the valves is not replaceable in that pump. One is and one isn't, and the diaphragm is. So if that pump is weak, we may uh, try to rebuild it. And, but if the other valve is bad, then there's nothing you can do. You have to get another pump body, which is probably unobtainium. But uh, certainly could be replaced by any other number of little pumps, including probably an electric one. Probably the easiest thing to do. So this leaves me uh, kind of back where we were. It, I put a diesel treatment injector cleaner in today and it revved up to almost a 1900. 1875 um, but I don't know what that means it could have just because there was not much load on it maybe the, the wind was down the current was down something eh, who knows so anyway that's uh, that's where we are and I'm uh, I'm in a quandary and I kind of uh, uh, hope the buyer will just go ahead and buy the thing and uh, fix it himself because I'm very tired of this.